All right, everyone, come on in, come on in. Thanks for joining me for another cool video. Appreciate having you here. And as always, before we start, please take a second to subscribe. You will be glad you did if you're a lurker and haven't already subscribed. And I appreciate you tolerating me constantly asking if you are already a subscriber, because as you know, and I've mentioned over and over, the algorithms on all these platforms insist that you do so in order to favor you. So with that out of the way, make sure you're comfortable, make sure your rear end is firmly ensconced in the seat of your choice and you have the beverage of choice in hand. Hopefully it's a nice hard martini, a dirty martini with a nice olive in there. And on the other hand, you have some chips. And on the third and fourth hands, you're adjusting your screens and getting ready to look at one of my favorite battery toys that I've wanted for a long time and I've never had it and I finally came across a non-working example at the Milestone auction, but I was able to send it to where else but the Robot Hut who deftly and skillfully repaired it. And this is the Clown Vending Machine and the Savings Bank and I do love my banks. So let's start with the box. You know, I confused this for a while with another toy that I don't remember if I ever had it before, the Lucky Crane, and I believe they're probably about the same size. And these toys are huge, man. They are big, big, big. And they are both, they are both banks, and they both dispense items. But I say I was confused because I thought that both of them dispensed toys, but I was incorrect. And the Robot Hut corrected me saying, nope, this one is a candy dispenser. So I'm trying to think, when would I ever put candies in there? That's neither here nor there. So what is this thing all about? Well, like I said, it's a battery operated a savings bank. And because the box is so big, I can't really keep it in frame. So you know what? Let's look at what we can on the box here. First of all, who is this? This is W Toys. Watch your money grow. And W Toys stands for wonderful toy and it had several patents this is really a wonderful toy and it's highly highly desirable so you got this very cool circus style box art that would be at home at ringling brothers and you have this clown that's vending peanuts is he a small clown from the twilight zone maybe perhaps and you have this young lad here that says any kind of coin, which I don't know, maybe he's giving a slug. Slugs were the illegal coins that some of those seedy kids would use in the arcades when they didn't have quarters. They would use slugs and slugs sometimes would trick the pinballs or the arcade machines into working. So I, I think when they say any kind of coin, they probably want real money, though. So I guess Wonderful Toys had 581 toys and maybe this was the 59th version. So it does have a hopper you fill up and it tells you exactly what to do. And it is, again, a savings bank. You remove the metal top, fill the plastic funnel with candies or peanuts. Any kind of coin can be inserted into the slot and the machine will start working automatically. If the bank's overfilled with coins, the switch will not control the motor and the machine will work continuously in such case Turn the metal lock at the bottom and remove the coins. So that's your side panel, which has a very good instructions on how to actually operate this thing. Now the end panel here shows these kids enjoying life with their candy vending machine. Get your candies, watch your money grow. Now, I'm guessing mom and dad had to buy the candies. So this end panel or side panel is the same. And then the end panel over here is different. So this is cool. It kind of has like a banner look to it. So there's your box. And it is tough to find this toy working. Now, unfortunately, this plastic, it's almost like a acrylic front is very glare prone. So I'm going to try to get the glare out. I have the flash on because I had the choice either use the flash and you can actually see the inside of this or you don't use the flash and it was pretty dark. So I opted for some glare and the flash. Now let's look at the side. Again, I said this is kind of circus themed. You have the giraffe here for some reason. 
Because <laughs> we're at the circus. And again, they, they insist that you watch your money grow. But again, they don't in, um, explain how you're going to get the candies. So I guess you have to have the candies for free. So you got a lion. You got a giraffe so far. And you got the instructions here. And then you have a, a tiger on the other side here. And they're all behind the fence or in front of the fence. So if they're in front of the fence and you walk in front of these dangerous wild animals, you are screwed. Now this entire top comes out. See here. And that's where you fill your hopper. It's really, really cool concept. I mean, and the, th the, the, the fact of the matter, this is a coin operated vending machine. And as you know, I love my coin ops, my arcade machines. What makes this toy really, really special and desirable is that you have this full lithograph tin clown in here. So this crosses over a lot of different areas. You have crossover to clown collectors, circus collectors, coin op collectors, battery toy collectors. And uh, to find this toy mint in a box is a challenge. So... Let's see if I can get the glare a little bit off. I think this is probably the best angle. And so the way it works, you don't even have to really deposit the coin all the way through. You just have to activate the switch. So you put it in here and it does have a light too. You see that? Now that would have vended. Now, am I ever gonna load peanuts or candy? Hell no, because you know what? The last thing I want are roaches coming in and invading my toys or anything else that would eat candies and and uh, peanuts. Let's try it again. There is a light under there, but let me see if I kill the light here. It's not really gonna do much with this flash on. I wish there was a way to turn the flash off while you're in the middle of filming, but there really isn't. The light's up here. Let's get this. So that's it as far as your cycle. Now, I'm going to do it one more time just so you can see if you actually deposit it in. It's running a cycle just to dispense one item, and it, which is kind of good because you don't want this thing running over and over and over again. So let's just put the coin in all the way. And there you have it, my friends. That is your cool freaking candy vending machine by W Toys, your wonderful toys. Let me know if you like this. This is, I think, one of the more special battery toys. Very difficult to find. And one thing that John told me, and I could believe because the condition of this is pretty pristine, he said it doesn't look like it was ever opened with or messed with before. And it seems to be the case with a lot of these candy vending machines that for one reason or another, they just didn't work that great right out of the gate. And... Um, you know, whether they were trashed as a result uh, or what is a mystery. But you know what? They, they're they tough to find like this. But this one survived, thank God. And uh, now we have a perfectly good working example. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time as always. So uh, another fr friendly reminder, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And let me know what you think of this because I'm always curious when I, you know, venture off into these other toys. Do you like these, um, you know, as maybe not as much as the robots and space toys, or do you like them equally as much? I'd be interested in knowing. Thanks as always for your time. Greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to thumb up the video as well. Leave a remark, I'll respond. And with that, I'll talk to you later.